time is it, y'all? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Right there, right there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-Y, Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. Last Friday, the Joker, the new Joker came out, starring Joaquin Phoenix. I said it right. I usually say Joaquin. Joaquin, but I've been practicing. Joaquin Phoenix plays the Joker. So the movie was kind of set in like the 1980s. It had that 1980s feel. The, the vehicles in it was 1980s. It had that the retroness of it. Even Warner Brothers, when it first started, had the old time looking Warner Brothers logo that they were showing. So I loved even the beginning and the feel of it and, and the retroness of it. Let's start off by saying, if you're going into this movie thinking you love superheroes, you love DC, you love Marvel, you love the, the superhero movies that we're all used to seeing and loving with action and, and that superhero feel. I'm going to say this right now. You don't go in expecting that in this movie. It has a totally different feel. You feel it's nothing to do with like the superheroes and the, cla the classic Joker that you know. Nothing. And it gets into the psychological mind of the Joker. It actually puts the situation of you know a mentally ill person and i would say even today's society even though this has like the 1980s feel of it i would say looking in today's society number one with like you know just how cr cruel people can be just the meanness and cruelty people can be number two dealing with the mental health issues. He would start off in the movie, he's going to see this social worker and, and they're re-upping his medication and all that. And then it was just cut. And then he's like, what do I do now? It was even, the lady said to, to him, she was like, you know, nobody cares about us. Nobody cares about you saying the mentally ill and nobody cares about me. He stops getting medication. He's not getting the medication he needs and stuff. So it takes you on this journey of this, you know, crazy, psychotic person that needs help that society has just let down. So you see him with this condition that he has, that he laughs. He laughs at like awkward situations. If he's embarrassed, he, he ha and he has this crazy laugh. Like he's embarrassed or like shy or just has this bad feeling and he laughs about it. He just, ha, 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 ha. I was like, that's just right there. It tells you that he's crazy. Like even that laugh, people just like, what? I loved it. I love this movie. I'm going to call it right now. If this doesn't get an Oscar nomination and win, and if Joe Quinn or Joaquin, my boy, Phoenix, let's just call him Phoenix. If Phoenix does not get an Oscar for this movie, then something in this system is rigged. And yes, there's slow parts, but even the slow parts in this had me on my seat because it's the slow parts where he, like, he could just be sitting there. And he's doing, like he's moving his muscles or doing his crazy, just like little dances and it's just quiet and he's doing that. And yeah, it's slow. You're like, what's going on? But it, all that is bringing you into just his psyche. By the time you get to the end, you're with him. You are, you're like, you, you feel for him, number one, because you see how just society has brought him to this point. It's violent. Like this movie is definitely violent. It shows violent parts. He He's getting beat up, like number one, by just different type of people. But also his flip. Oh, his flip. You see the shootings. You see people being stabbed in the neck and bashed. Like it's a violent movie. It is. In the comics, I mean, he's a violent He's one of the crazy, I, I would say he's my favorite villain because he's the craziest villain. He's the most villainish villain of all. And you see his, just his journey to that. This movie brings you back like, what? To even his childhood and, and how society let him down that, in, in that regard. To even lead up to his mental issues. To that, leads, that leads up to just his breaking point. You can look at today's society and look at some of the mass shootings and the people that's gone crazy and and villains real villains in the, in our life and see how one can become it just by watching this movie how one can get to that and how the progression is to be a villain to get to that point it's deep it leaves you leaving the movie theater like whoa 
what just happened? I give this movie a five out of five, like big time. It's not a, not only one of the best movies I've seen this year. It's one of the best movies I've seen in the last few years. That's how much I love this. And like I said, I will say it again. Joaquin, I said it right, is going to win an Oscar and he's going to deserve it. And if he doesn't, then look, we're going to have clowns running all around this place because <laughs> I'm going to be like, it was the, this is robbery. Robbery if he doesn't win an Oscar for this. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. And until and next time, bye y'all.